it just really sucks that like AMD and Nvidia just cut off support for cards that actually can continually go probably for another two or three years. The other day I was jigging around in some of my old things and I found this, the ATI Radeon HD5770. And I was looking at it going, hmm, I can't really buy a new GPU right now, so why not try out a really old one? Now try out is the operative word because I haven't actually even looked at this thing in over four years, so I don't even know if it works. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. Now before I get into the massive train wreck that this video is probably going to be, if you like what I'm doing here, can you like this video and subscribe? It helps out the channel a lot. And speaking of helping out the channel, I also have an Amazon Associates link. So if you click on the link in the description and then add something to cart and order it, the channel gets a small kickback. Now with all the housekeeping out of the way, the first thing I'm going to do is actually throw this on the bench. Now I've already used DDU on the bench, so it is ready to go. Okay. Let's see what happens. <gasps> it works. <laughs> or not. I got a signal and then I went away. See, okay. This is on the 5770. It's loading into Windows, and it's in Windows. Is it blacking out again? Last time it blacked out. Now the blacking out could have something to do with overheating. I'm gonna take it apart and clean it and see what happens. Sure. Uh, it looks like it might be overheating, is what the problem is, but it's definitely sending a signal. It boots into Windows. Windows is detecting something. I just don't have enough time to actually see what the heck's going on. Push you back on properly. So that's the, it's dissolving pretty well with the alcohol, but yeah, it's like chalk. I'm going to be using some NMX4 on this. Okay, so it's not black screening anymore after the cleaning and repasting. So it does seem like it was overheating, which is not really a surprise since it was 12 year old paste that actually was more like a chalk. It's been sitting here for quite some time and it's in idle, kind of sitting in around the 36 to 37 Celsius mark. Um, I can probably open up GPU Z again, and we can take a quick look at the specs of this thing. Uh, it is a 40 nanometer. Jesus Christ, that's big. That's what she said. Um, okay, yeah, so the clock speed is 850 megahertz, and the memory is running at 1200 megahertz. So this thing is actually really close to an APU right now. So that actually should give me a pretty good idea of what to expect. Um, well, at least in frequencies, it's close to an APU. But again, I do actually believe it's gonna be pretty close to an APU. I am capturing this using my editing rig slash stream capture machine. So I am not saving anything on like, so whatever is happening on the test bench is happening on the test bench and that's about it. Anyways, now that I'm actually in Windows with the drivers loaded up, I'm going to start off with Half-Life 2, mainly because it is something that this card should be able to run pretty easily, just to make sure that everything's working properly. 
Then I'm gonna try playing Dawn of War 2, which was actually released the same year this card was. Then I'm gonna actually play a game from every year between 2010 and 2019. And I will be adjusting the graphic settings in each game to try to get a playable experience, because I don't wanna throw up. Now I do have an issue with the driver support for the newer games because proper support for this card ended in 2015. So anything after that isn't really gonna have proper drivers if drivers at all.
Okay, I'm gonna cut it off there because I'm actually starting to get motion sickness. And again, I don't wanna throw up because that. So I was pretty bang on about the drivers thing. It took a definite nosedive after 2015, but I was pretty impressed with this card up until that point because both Wolfenstein and GTA 5 were both very playable with those settings. Because again, like that GTA 5 experience would have been way better than the PlayStation 4 or, or like, that was really good. Like I was very, very surprised that it actually got to 1080p. Like I was in DirectX 10, but like the, fr like, the frame rate was good. Like I that was absolutely playable. It just really sucks that like AMD and Nvidia just cut off support for cards that actually can continually go probably for another two or three years. Well, I think that's all I got for this one, all the normal stuff. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, maybe think about subscribing, clicking that bell icon and getting notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. I also have a Discord server. The link is in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time. Costco. When you want isopropylene alcohol, you get a fuck ton of it at Costco. This video is not sponsored by Costco.